Hi! Welcome to Sekiro. We're doing the Old Grave Idol. We're going to check out the Serpent Temple Idol, I think it's called. You'll see. Uh, we're going to get an umbrella, uh, explore a couple of farming routes, so click show more in the description if you want to jump to something specific. Uh, the actual Old Grave run-through starts at about three minutes. Um, but uh, the eye in the top right will give you access to uh, playlists with other information, but here's how to get there. Start from the Sheena Castle. <laughs> a Sheena Castle antechamber. This is a pretty solid farming route here if you just get these four guys with a backstab. Um, so do that as many times as you need, but then hook onto here. You'll drop down here and see four people. Three normal ones in a blue coat. Uh, there are the three in a little triangle and one up ahead. I recommend backstabbing the uh, blue coat. And then let these guys come through the door or not. You should be able to take them by now. Two or three of these guys shouldn't pose too much of a problem. Those guys especially take like one deflect and they're down. Anyway, head through there. The Sabamaro's through there. That door will need to be opened. Around here is a little trickier. There's a monk here. Make sure he's facing away from you and then do a drop kill. He wanders around a bit and then leave the rifleman uh, for afterwards. The monk can still be a bit scary and kill you if you're not fully careful. Anyway, here's Old Grave. Let's reset the idol so it's like we're coming here directly. The monk will be here. Uh, so wait for him to walk over to the side and then get up behind him. It can be a little dodgy doing that. The rifleman may alert him and he'll turn around. So just be wary that you might want to run. Then head over this bridge for an eavesdrop opportunity. Uh, he will tell you about the salt, which you can then take to Anayama the Peddler. Very quickly, he's lated, lo lated? located in Ashina outskirts uh, by the stairway idol. Uh, just to the left as you come into the idol. Have a chat with him, he'll be really happy. He tells you next time you return he'll have some more stuff, so use the Homeward Bone back to the last communed idol. And you'll see, amongst other things, he has unlimited scrap iron and black gunpowder for sale. Although it's not brilliant, I wouldn't waste your money buying too much of it. Back to the bridge. Gank the guy on the right. He's a mini general just without armor. He's quite a tough fight for only 100 experience, not really worth the effort. There's a rifleman over there, so watch out if you do get into combat with the general. And a Mibu balloon under the bridge. If you're coming from the water, use that hook to jump up to the uh, rifleman there and then go around and gank the two on the bridge. But there's a Mibu possession balloon there. And if you jump up on top of this little shack and then jump and grab, uh, you can run over to the right a little bit, drop down there. You may have noticed this from the top. Uh, there, a couple of scrap iron. Boom. Now down this way to, I always want to call it the Senpu Temple, it's not, it's the Great Serpent Temple or the Serpent Temple or something. But past these spirit emblems you'll meet some monkeys. I think this is probably the first time you've met monkeys, they're much like dogs. Uh, you can deflect them, you can shuriken them, you can attack them, they may drop spirit emblems, they're scared of firecrackers and fire. Mibu Balloon there, carry on up here, and there is the idol. That leads down to Sunken Depths. And if you come here after killing Genichiro, uh, Tengu will be here and he will offer you a text if you've unlocked any of the final skills in the skill tree. Don't worry if he disappears, uh, you can always get that text later in the game um, elsewhere. But for now let's head back to Old Grave and actually clear that out. Um, first up, uh, you're going to want about 1600 coins. We need to buy the Umbrella prosthetic tool. Um, just It's going to make a couple of fights quite easy and also it's good backup here. So do whatever you need to do to farm. Uh, that route's worth about, I think, 80 gold without any bonuses, and this one is worth almost 100 on the nose. Uh, so it's going to be 130 if you've got any of the upgrades. You can also use, obviously, um, Mibu Balloon of Wealth if you want to. Uh, but once you've raised your 1600, however you do it, feel free to sell coin purses. Drop down here from the idol. Uh, and really do sell coin purses. But there it is, Iron Fortress. Grab that. There's also an anti-air death blow text. Don't worry about that too much now. Um, you'll need it later, but there are no enemies you're about to see that are particularly airborne. You can also have a chat to him about Tengu, and you can explore both options, it doesn't really change much. Uh, but once you've got that, go back to the Sculptor and craft your um, umbrella. And like I said, use coin purses. Honestly, there's no point in saving them. I had about 50 grand in coin purses at the end of my first playthrough, and because I didn't spend them, I just kept buying them. Um, and never cash them in and I just regretted it because there isn't actually that much to buy and towards the end of the game You're gonna be able to make like a couple of thousand a minute with no problem at all For upgrades consider the uh, flame vent upgrade because that's gonna to lead to an umbrella upgrade But you'll see here it protects against thrusts I'm not sure if that's just because he was on the stairs and it was high protect against rockets But you can get posture broken with this low level version um, So hits will break the umbrella, but the hit that breaks it won't do you any damage as you see Anyway, uh, let's actually clear the zone. Uh, remember to keep the umbrella equipped, just or at least available, just in case you run into trouble and get spotted. But you want to pop up here. There's two riflemen down there. We're going to ignore them for the time being. We're going to hook over to this guy. Now, there's a little bit of a trick to hooking onto him successfully. If you do it from up here on the roof, even if you do it to the low point, it will hook you onto the top of the roof, and it's a pain to get down. He'll hear you dropping, and he'll probably just shoot you off, and it'll become a bit of a nightmare, and it's quicker to reset. So make sure you've dropped down here. 
hook across there, try not to target immediately because sometimes the camera gets a bit weird with the roof, and then we're going to leave these rifle guys alone for the time being because if they accidentally see us or shoot it's just going to cause other people to notice us and ultimately the other guy in the guard tower may catch us. So we'll come back to them. Um, head over this way because once we've eliminated the two guys in the gun tower this area becomes pretty simple so as soon as they're gone it doesn't matter if everyone sees you but I've kept it relatively clean. Now dropping down here there's two guys with their backs turned to you. They won't notice you and I don't actually recommend killing them because if they turn around or see you and it ends up being a fight uh, the guy up in the tower will hear you. Um, and there's no reason that they should, but better safe than sorry. Uh, hook your way up there, get up behind this guy. Again, try not to lock on because the camera goes a bit weird. Um, and kill him. Uh, so now that you're clear of shooters, there's just a few little guys to take care of. There's a rifleman over here. Uh, we got a lock on him just now. There's a clanger just up to the right, so be careful of making too much noise here. But get up and backstab this guy. Uh, and then you can drop down from here, there's a little area here where later on there will also be some, well, one pretty nasty enemy, but that is uh, black gunpowder, uh, crafting material, nothing down there. I always think there's a little ledge here, I'm not sure why. I'm convinced I found something at some point in an area that maybe looked a bit like this, it was probably sunk in depths. And so now every time I go there I'm like, I'm missing something. Anyway, up here, uh, there's the clanger, he'll like bang his pans, so you can shuriken him or just slice him in the back. There's a guy on patrol here with a stick. Uh, just Makiri counter him, took a little bit of damage, and then just all that's remaining is up here, two riflemen. Um, that little clanger you can also ping from the top of Black Hat Badger, the vendor that we just bought the umbrella off. Um, you can shoot a shuriken at him from the top corner of there if you would rather get him early on. Um, it's not a bad plan. But when you're done there, uh, we're going to head up here and pick up all the treasures. The first one is just over here on the wall. Uh, to the right, I think it's a coin purse. It might be a troll item though. Oh, uh, it's Gaijin's sugar. Uh, and then down here there's like four items. Um, there's another one up here that I always somehow manage to... The best way to get to that one back on the roof, what was that? Uh, more Gaijin sugar, I think there's a light coin purse and then maybe a shard or something or a fistful of ash. Yeah. Um, so this, yeah, getting to here. Uh, there's no more treasure there. Um, that one, you just go all the way up to the top and then drop through the hole. I always try and really cleverly drop off the side there and grab on, but quite often it fails and you just fall down to the ground. Just drop through the hole black, back to talk to Black Hat Badger, tongue twister, and um, come round. Uh, don't forget to loot the old grave itself. That's just around here. And there is a dragon blood droplet, dragon's blood droplet. Uh, nothing else here, although again, I always think there is, and I'm convinced there's some way up there, but there isn't. Uh, and then that's pretty much us. Uh, we're done with Old Grave for now. You've got a bunch of choices from here on out. You should have two prayer beads. Um, we could go to the reservoir. There's a prayer bead still to buy in uh, the abandoned dungeon. We can explore the abandoned dungeon, push through to Senpu. Um, but if you go to the reservoir and buy one bead and win one bead there, you've actually got 13 vitality at that point, and that's kind of enough to start thinking about Genichiro. Um, especially with the attack power we've got from Lady Butterfly. But uh, I'll leave the options to you. Um, on the left, then, let's put the abandoned dungeon, and on the right, the reservoir. The reservoir is what I'll be going next. Um, I'm not sure if we'll hit Genichiro after that or not yet. I'll probably put in some options. Anyway, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Lots of love. Bye.